Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new edition of the J&J Toy Giants YouTube channel Toy Unboxing. I am your host JD and uh, you know, something's missing. I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. You guys know what it is? Oh, oh, one second. Where did that just come from? It's magic. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, so now that we got Jade in here, we're going to be going over some brand new stuff that we just got today. Um, for those of you who just uh, celebrated Easter, and uh, who do celebrate happy Easter, Easter, happy Easter. Dude, this was like two years ago. We're still talking about freaking Easter, bro. Uh, depending on when you actually watch this video, it is Easter weekend uh, by the time of this recording. But uh, we're going to go over some really, really cool stuff now. There are two like properties that back in the 80s and the 90s that were really really popular when i was a kid um and there was like gi joe there was transformers there were the uh, batman the animated series but the two properties that we're going to go over today with you were crucial to the childhood that i grew up in and so why don't you show them what you're no, going to be unboxing I'm today you go. Oh, okay well thank you so today i'm going to be going over the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2-pack, and I got it on clearance of Michelangelo and Rocksteady. Which I got. Or I'm sorry, Bebop, I should say. Which I got. Which he got me. Thank you so very much. And what else are you going to be going over oh, today? so this was a long time ago, and I got the Ghostbusters van that was like a long time ago. So it's the Ecto-1 re-release from uh, Hasbro. Uh, because this was actually through, if you remember, you see here the, see here, there we go, the Kenner, the Kenner logo. So Kenner sold their properties to, and I believe they were bought out by Hasbro. So all of their properties are now Hasbro properties. Yeah. You can actually really have the Ecto-1 because they really do have the real Ecto-1. Yeah, so the, uh, the actual... Um, movie the the For plasma me. series ecto one you can get that that one i think is like 60 at bucks yeah at target yeah so um so yeah so this was actually for the real ghostbusters uh retro series for you know for the old retro stuff that we were going over as well so you can put those in there uh and again i got this uh Two pack with Mikey and uh, Bebop. Don't so, you already have one? No, I well I have the the uh, the the knockoffs. Oh yeah, the knockoffs. They're the knockoffs. They look really good. Yeah. So we're gonna do like we always do, everybody. We're gonna let them breathe. Let them breathe. So this is what the Ecto One looks like, and then these have working doors. They open. Has a little wheel. Figures on yeah. here. And then you can make them both. Um, didn't have a lot of decals, you know. We put them on. The stickers were fairly easy to put on. This is cool. So you take this out. This can grab onto the ghost. And when it does, yeah, I gotta show the camera. This. And then it pulls it in, and then it's trapped. And yeah, so it comes with a grappling hook inside. So it did, it didn't come with a lot of uh, assemble, no, uh, or assembly. Like not enough. Not really a big assembly required. Um, no, I hope it, I said that so correctly. So what it did was it just had people do this for you. It just had a hook of that. But this this is a character come. I don't know what his name is. No, it didn't really say on the uh, on the box here. Okay, keep her going. Let's go. Right. Um, this is Agara Phantasma. Yeah. And then this is... Well, it comes with like a... That, that looks scary when it has... So 
ultimately for those who are not familiar with the Ghostbusters or the real Ghostbusters uh, cartoon series, either it's based on the movie. Um, so this is the Ecto-1, basically a, uh, a ambulance type of station wagon that they used in the movie to turn into some sort of like a vehicle when they were fighting ghosts. So whenever they get a call, they, they get their proton packs, they put in the back, they get in there and they drive to wherever they're supposed to fight a ghost. Um, normally they, these, uh, I, I believe these opened up when I was a kid on the older version, this one opened up as well. Uh, and it had a gunner seat, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. For those who actually have oh, the original one, oh comment my. in the comment section. Comment on the comment section uh, if the original one had the gunner seat. I'm almost positive it did. But this one, up here you can put one of the uh, figures up here. And that way you can actually, you know, it's, it's fairly big. It's not It's not going to take, a lot, take up not a lot of room here. But... It's uh, actually pretty cool to find out that this is uh, available now in stores. I believe it's a Walmart exclusive only. Yeah. Where you can only get it at Walmart. So go on Walmart.com. If no one's actually selling it on Macari, well, yeah, I mean, I would go to Walmart first because Macari and all those secondary markets uh, are going to probably try to, like, make you overpay. But, I mean, it's a really cool uh, thing to have as far as, like, I'm not a big vehicle guy. Jaden likes a lot of vehicles. I think the only vehicle I have is the Cobra Hiss tank. And then I got a, 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 some transformers that transform into uh, vehicles. But that's what they Oh, do. yeah, there. The yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is a really cool thing. I mean, it's a cool... I'm saying cool a lot, but I'm, it is very cool. Um, so, I remember somebody said that there is actually a building for the Ghostbusters. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, oh, I forget the, the name. Oh, the Ghostbusters headquarters. Yeah, but they call it something else. Uh, uh, so the, it's the firehouse. I just uh, paused just to make sure. So they are selling the firehouse. I'm not sure if they released it yet. I know it's coming because I did receive word on like a tweet from the Major Wrestling Figure podcast. That I did, they did say that that is coming out. I remember seeing that tweet somewhere, but I believe they're the ones that actually posted it. And I'm not sure if it was like a Comic-Con exclusive or whatnot, but I'm sure the Firehouse will be available at some point. Um, Jaden is uh, kind of mouthing to me that he wants it, but we'll see. We'll see what the pricing is. I mean, if we can get it for a good deal, then I'm not going to say no. But it is cool to have um, a, firehouse. You know, a firehouse to have a headquarters for all your guys. I mean, for me, I like to just display my guys. But if I can get a headquarters for a good, you know, a good uh, price, I might as well get it anyway. You can put it on the top, and if you put a guy there in front of it, it'll act, actually look like, oh, help! Slimer's sliming me! So there's not a lot of uh, decals. They're just the ones on the side, and then on the back. And then the other side. And then on the other side. And then, of course, you have the Ecto-1 uh, license plate on the front. And on the back, this is a pretty cool thing. I mean, he's really excited to play with it. I'm excited that he even actually found it for the price that he did, and, or that it was even available. How many did you find that were there? Um, there were only three laying there. So now, so now there's two. two. And like, I'm assuming that they're going to be gone by this week. They must have just put them out. Yeah, I think they were lazy. They were like, I'm going to put these out. See if anybody recognizes these. Yeah, so definitely uh, he's excited to play with this. And now we're going to go on to the next one. Say your prayers, titles. Robots? Let's rock! Hey, what the heck? Where are these guys getting their gear? Mars? Let's show them the turtles know how to party! All right, so the very first figure that we're going to be going over today is Michelangelo. Uh, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon series through NECA. Uh, I was able to get this. Actually, uh, my wife and my son found this for me. Uh, it was on clearance, so I was able to get it for $25, or they got it for me for $25. Uh, 
where I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that when they first came out um, for those cartoon series, specifically this one in Bebop, uh, I believe it was almost about double that. <clears throat> so then, of course, over time, I was playing the long game, just like Kyle Peterson says, got to play the long game and was able to get it as a gift uh, for a lot less money than it was uh, initially. So this is uh, Michelangelo. He's a party dude, if you like the cartoon. And he is the master of the ninchucks. And the, I actually, if you remember the bootleg video that I did for Who's Lucy, um, you can see the differences between the two. Um, obviously, looking at these, they look the same, but they're not. Um, the orange on the bandana and all of his um, other appendages are a lot lighter. The shell, um, or his shell here, is a lot lighter as well. The face molds look the same. I think this one is just a tad bit bigger in, in height. Let me back this up here. It's about as far back as I'm going to be able to get. So you can tell this one's a little bit bigger. Um, the M on the belt is a little lighter, or you know, darker rather, than this one. But they all come with the uh, sewer stand so one would think would not actually looking at this one think that this is the real one but it is indeed a uh, bootleg but I don't care I liked it just as fine as I like the other ones all right so of course uh, it, it, they, these are very fragile I should say not really fragile I shouldn't use that word but it they're very loose I should say and try to get these guys to kind of stand up it is a little bit of a chore so once you get it to where you want it to be, uh, I wouldn't mess with it too much. And of course, uh, the stand it comes with, it's a really cool thing to come with a stand. You don't have to worry about getting the right one and what, what type of holes that you should be getting or pegs that you should be getting on the stand. Like it comes with it, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I basically just had one of his nunchucks uh, in his hand and then the one other one in his back, just like I did with the bootleg. Uh, it, it, off camera, it took me a while to actually even do this because you have to um he only has three fingers so you have to close these and then put this one down this way on his thumb and to hold it and it was very very hard for me to be able to get his left hand in order to be able to get that to stay but i mean i like it a lot i i love the, the teenage mutant ninja turtles uh if you actually uh want to see any of the other videos that i've done I've done the NECA movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all four turtles. I also did um, Splinter and the Shredder uh, two-pack. And I, I do have the Super Shredder that's going to be on a future video. I've kind of been lagging on that for whatever reason. I think what I want to do, this is my, my thinking, and that's probably the reason why I haven't done a video on the Super Shredder is there's another Super Shredder that's out there that it's a little bit lighter purple. So you can see here, this is the lighter purple one and I have the darker one you can see here. So I wanted to leave one mock and have one loose. So I think if I get the lighter purple one, that's the one I'm gonna unbox and then I'll keep the uh, dark one mock. When I say mock, bent on car for those who are joining us for the very first time and never actually don't know the lingo. It took me a while to kind of figure it out myself being a collector. But Michelangelo, this is a part of a two pack with Bebop, which I'm gonna be going over with you in a minute. And, but I like this, uh, the, the actual bandages that he has, like all his uh, bandanas and everything like that are a lot darker. The color is a lot darker. So I'm de definitely gonna be displaying this on my turtle uh, section. I actually now have three sections of my uh, display cabinets, or I should say shelves, I should say, uh, where I have my turtles ever expanding. There's a few things that I actually collect a lot of. One of them is the wrestling figures, my Masters of the Universe figures. Um, I have a whole shelf dedicated to Marvel. And then the turtle ones are the other ones that I have that are um, a lot that I have, you know, multiple shelves, you know, dedicated to them. So I'm really glad to be able to display this guy. His um, articulation is pretty cool. He got him at the knees, the feet, toes, fingers, elbow, and the uh, the shoulders. 
and the head also moves pretty good as well so up down left right and you can uh, his torso also can move that as well so that's pretty cool very very articulate which is what you want in a figure so you can have if you do photo photography they're so easy to do as far as like doing poses and whatnot but that's enough for Michelangelo. Hopefully I'll get some of the other ones uh, and have the whole set. Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo. And keep on playing that, that, uh, that long game and see if I can get a deal on those. So let's go to the next one. I command you to find that car. Do oh, it right, right, right away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. So hard to find decent help nowadays. All right, to round out this video for the toy unboxing today is none other than Bebop from the infamous Rocksteady and Bebop, one of uh, Shredder's henchmen. Uh, just to give a little backstory for those who are not familiar with Bebop, he was a punk, you know, in a gang where they would, you know, vandalize a lot of shops and whatnot in New York City and was working for the Shredder. And when the Shredder was defeated by the Ninja Turtles, uh, and the Foot Clan, he figured, well, let's fight fire with fire and created his own mutants. And this was a warthog. So Bebop is half man, half warthog. And he comes with his own, like, drill blaster amongst other uh, weapons, such as these grenades here. Uh, it's got, like, a little uh, nose piercing and a snout. Some of those uh, ever so infamous uh, shades that he wears in that mohawk. So, obviously, this is a must-have if you're going to have the cartoon turtles as far as, like, the bad guys are concerned. The articulation is the same as uh, Michelangelo. He has... I'll do, I'll do my best so I don't mess up his uh, stance because I try to put him on... and stand him up off-camera was very, very hard to do. But, yeah, so his arms go up and down, out this way. So he's got articulations in the... the uh, oops. Sorry about that. So he's got articulations in the elbows, the hands, the torso, his head, and his uh, wrist. You know, move his hand this way, that way. There we go. See so like that. But yeah, I like this uh, because I, I want to have not only the turtles, but the some bad guys to go along with them and possibly like, you know, display them one by one facing each other like they're going to do battle but um of course he has some like little teeth like on a necklace and whatnot with a skull and that's really much that he's a, a very uh, famous for <clears throat> trying to always get the turtles uh run them over like a war hog like a kind of like a bull and I need Rocksteady now. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Comment in the, in the uh, comment section. I believe Donatello comes with Rocksteady. It's either Donatello or uh, Leonardo, one of the two. But I know he's part of a, a two-pack with some of the other turtles. So definitely going to need to get him so he can complete the set. But uh, yeah, Jaden's here uh, with me while I'm doing the um, unboxing. I want to tell one thing. I like how. It is this, but I think I remember there's a movie called uh, Batman vs. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. Turtle, and yeah. Then, it, then it's like Joker, and then you remember the Fly, the Fly gives... Baxter Stockman, yeah. yeah. They gave the DC super villains and turn them into animals like them. Yeah, Joker was a snake, and then... Hollywood, uh... Har Hollywood... Oh, look, she had a coyote. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was a hyena. Hyena. She was a hyena. And then I, Poison Ivy was like some kind of poison that. And then what was Bane? Bane was... Bane was a grizzly bear, I think. A grizzly bear. Yeah. yeah. And Mr. Freeze was cold. That's, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so you definitely want to have uh, Bebop as a collector. You got to have Bebop and Rocksteady. It's a must. Especially if you're doing the cartoon turtles. Um, so, I don't know if they're still doing the cartoon series for NECA. I gotta do some checking on that. But, yeah, I mean, there's really much, not much you can more to say about this other than it's freaking awesome. And, of course, he comes with a stand, which is really cool. I don't believe there are any bootlegs of 
Rocksteady and Bebop. I know they're the bootlegs for the Turtles, like I just showed you earlier when I was reviewing Michelangelo. But who knows? They may have some bootlegs out there. Um, they're very, very cheap. I actually got all the bootleg ones from um, Amazon. They actually don't come carded. They come in a, in a bag um, that you can get for like 25 bucks. Bebop does have uh, a lot of uh, weight on the top of his uh, torso, which is very hard for you to stand him up sometimes. Uh, his weapon, you have to basically put it, I believe, on the left hand because his index finger goes into the trigger. I don't know if that does the same thing in the right hand. Uh, I'm going to try it off the camera, see if that happens. but. Yeah, I mean, the, with the uh, Rocksteady, I believe it's the same issue that I've heard of, that it, they're very top-heavy. So you have to be very, very careful when you're trying to, to display them because if they're, and I've seen it with my bootleg ones, that they fall over. If you have them, his, his uh, torso on the top hunched over like that, they're going to fall. And even with these uh, stands that they come with, they usually don't stay on them that great. Uh, I know off camera when I was doing the Michelangelo one, it was very, very hard to kind of keep him up. He always was kind of falling over even backwards or forwards. But yeah, I definitely want to keep an eye out on that. Pay attention to make sure that you have him in a cool stance here. I had to kind of like spread his legs evenly outward so that you can actually have enough weight uh, distribution to stand him up. Anyway, be with you guys in a moment. Thank you guys for being with us for this uh, toy unboxing. I'll be with you in a moment. Well, that does it for this edition of the J&J &J Toy Giants YouTube channel Toy Unboxing. Again, I am your host, JD. My name is Jaden. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and TikTok. Follow us on TikTok and also Twitch. Follow us on Twitch. So hopefully by the time that this uh, video comes out, we've been... We'll have done a lot more Twitch streams, and I always save those replays so you can watch them on the YouTube channel because, as we all know, after you you stream on Twitch, they only are there for, like, I think two weeks, and then they go away. I had 10 weeks of school, Bob, and I can yes, do yes, any 10 days streams. Of I can do any streams if I want. He has 10 days off from school. Yeah, so if I want to do a stream, like, tonight with you, he could do it. Yeah, so I still got to go to work, but then he has uh, the day off. But thank you so very much, guys. Be safe. Enjoy your spring. Keep on cruising. Bye. See you later.